breaking developments in the Florida recount. We'll take you there for the very latest. The attorney representing the city lunches, chances are they might also qualify. Governor Musgrove has yet to decide. And the health department says that's not enough. For $3.9 million. Well, instead of a white Christmas, we could be in store for a white New Year's Eve. Yeah, that's right. No. Rex Thompson is here with all the chili. But a growing number of doctors say too much stress can actually make you sick. First dose of spring fever for 2001. While the residents wait in their motels, the fire behind me continues to burn. It made mistakes on half a million. Your fire broke out at the plant. On about it connects this intercept. The water started coming into the Parker house, into what used to be their view. So good luck with your battle of the bugs this summer. They yeah. are bad. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. It's a lot. You can still buy them in surrounding areas, but if law enforcement on both rivers are out in full force. Hi, Jim. As a matter of fact, even President Bush is now urging all Americans to donate blood. Or say they came to Charleston just because they usually have the contract for the DEA, which represents both teachers and support staff here in, in school. And then he got suspended. It seems like this one, water covering one of the main highways in the Neelyville students should be back in school by tomorrow. Sounds good. Okay. Firearm. Now some Mounds residents are worried about who's behind the badge. They really seem to know what they're doing. If you see this U-Haul duo outside your store leaning on each other for emotional support. Mike Lisa. Uh, that the Tombs house where Billy had been staying is now just that pile of rubble at the bottom of the hill. Down here in Cape Girardeau, but in Commerce where it seemed like half the town was underwater. But by the time it was all over, there wasn't much to celebrate. Two officers here at the Cape Girardeau Police Department have bulletproof vests that they can wear. Who would say they think otherwise and that it could and should have been prevented. The department are all working right now to track them down. Performed yesterday, that should prove whether or not that body is that of Peggy Miller. Right here in the heartland was allegedly the first place all these allegations about the governor started spilling out. Don't want to miss it, Kathy. All right, Kate, we'll see you then. Mayfield trailer in October of last year. What was he doing? How did he make a living? And what brought him here to the heartland? Well, I'm here on the campus right now. Behind me, what you see right behind me, that's the building where everything happened. And either a person or another car could get hit. And there's plans to put the safety on this stretch of highway later this year. Sends out an email that's designed to look like it came from a legitimate commercial sender like eBay. Buying the big screen for the big game. The Democrats tonight, Kate. I am here in Jackson. As you can tell, this has been a pretty rowdy crowd tonight. They equipment in working order. Did that cause any problems today? No, fortunately, it did not, Marianne. As you can see behind me, fire successfully out. A ladder truck, too, had been down over the weekend. It was fixed on Monday. As a matter of fact, that's the same day Cape's new fire chief started his job here. He says everything went like clockwork on this, his first big test. Live local, late breaking. Heartland News at 6 is next. Heartland News is next. The power is back on in parts of western Kentucky after this week's winter storm left more than 10,000 people in the dark. Meantime, there's a big battle going on in Baghdad. Big night for basketball. Absolutely. Plenty of games for basketball fans to choose from here in the Heartland. It's a lot of fun. All the suspects took off running that way. Fortunately for Mr. Harreen, the police station's also just a few blocks down the road. We're down there waiting for this time of year in the heartland and this video you'll see only here on heartland news about 2 45 this afternoon rescue workers say they've ever seen that's right no one's quite sure how she got there but the dog was found under a leaking tar tank last week witnesses tell us you can see the smoke for miles and when you got close to the first person pulled over by police could find it easier to stay out of jail you know they say elvis used to give away cadillacs like they were camping he said on kentucky lake you actually can't the sailboat because there are no waves big enough. Young boy. An F3 tornado cut through Marble Hill, leaving a path of destruction. Kate Scott is live in the newsroom. And Kate, we know you've been doing your homework on this today. What did you learn? Well, Marianne, I, there's all kinds of websites you can get on to check out Adderall and the other commonly misused prescription drugs. I've been looking at some of those. The driver says no to a breathalyzer test and won't give a blood or urine sample. Can the driver do that? Well, it's up to the Missouri Court of Appeals. You can come in a little bit later if you have, say, a 9-to-5 job. 
and get the registration done. Not just talking the shingles, we're talking the plywood ripped off the house. Now this family was at home at the time. That's right, you know, if sappy movies get you, get out the Kleenex. <laughs> this one is a little mushy. You know, I think it's always interesting hearing how people met and fell in love. Every couple has a special and unique story, and that includes us. I have asked if you could help out a Missouri Highway Patrolman who was seriously hurt on the job Monday. And now, there's a way. And I'll have even more on all the dogs in the show coming up at 6, Mike. Ah, uh, Newman can tell that you're a dog lover. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> I am. Well, how about the weather for the dog show? Osama bin Laden's attack on America apparently did not go as planned. I've been told to do the same thing should the Frankenstein robber show up here. Well, so far, it's been an exciting game in St. Louis tonight. Yeah, Todd Richards is right up. Has a 16-pound turkey for $14.20. Eagle residents was given a chance to do its own study on which route would be best for their town. Tonight, they made the recommendations to IDOT and the public. All right, Bob, thanks. Heartland News at 6 comes up in 30 minutes. Join me at Heartland News at 9 on UPN The Beat. Good night.